I was in Iraq in 2004, got out of the Army in 2005. I was stop loss, I was kept in for almost the entire year just to go out Iraq. Um, I was pretty, pretty uh, politically minded. I mean, politically speaking, I was kind of a radical in the Army, but I didn't really get a grasp of like the politics of my thoughts until I got to Iraq and learned a lot, not only about occupation and dehumanization, but like what our country was doing at the time in 2004, 2005 was really an interesting period of, uh, you know, collective, um, I want to say, probably jingoism is probably the best word to say, I think, just crazy uh, amount of patriotism. Um, right. I, I got out and I said, you know what, I'm going to get involved in activism. I joined Iraq during the war and, um, uh, through, through my activism to travel around with some, some uh, folk singer kids, uh, some anarchist kids especially, um, got me confident enough to learn how to sing and play guitar uh, in front of people. And, um, yeah, so I've been, I've been playing some live shows and some songs that I've either written based on my experiences or my thoughts, or, um, or that song that I really like from friends that I know that sing them. So. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and start then. Um, this first song is called Open Letter the U.S. Occupying Forces. And uh, it's a song from my friend, my friend Ryan Harding. He wrote it, and I think he really sums up the word perfectly.